Hi, I just had a client uh, bring me a jacket which needs to be shortened and it had imitation buttonholes and when it's taken up, um, if the buttonholes get too close to where it's been shortened, it doesn't look right. So what I've suggested is that I take the buttonholes, imitation buttonholes off and then I'll put the buttons back on um, after I've done the mitre and everything else that needs to be done. But I just thought that it was a good one uh, to show you how to unpick imitation buttonholes really quickly. 99% of suit jackets are going to have imitation buttonholes with buttons attached on the side. So the first thing to do before you um, get inside the jacket is to unpick the buttons, put them into a plastic bag so that uh, you don't lose any and remove the thread that secured the button. I'll talk about that 1% in a minute. I've turned the sleeves inside out and now I'm just going to um, get rid of the thread that secured the buttons and then I will um, unpick the mitre, mitered section so that the sleeve drops down and I can start uh, removing the imitation buttonholes. The buttonholes, you can see that there's a long stitch that attaches between each buttonhole. And there are two threads to each buttonhole. You can't see the second one because it's basically it's locked in. And what you want to do is you want to unlock it. So you'll see there how I just used the quick unpick and I flicked uh, that one side um, a few times and then it released. And the long one, the long thread is on the top of the buttonhole and the shorter one is on the bottom edge. So um, it's just a matter of grabbing hold of that shorter one and when you grab that, give it a pull and everything releases. So while you're viewing um, the unpicking of the imitation buttonholes. I'd like to talk about manufacturers that do not have an imitation buttonhole machine and they place uh, standard sewing machine buttonholes. First of all, it doesn't look very good. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to do it yourself, but it certainly does not look as professional as an imitation buttonhole. And secondly, some of these designers have decided that a buttonhole should be cut and therefore they put the buttonhole on using a standard buttonhole machine and then they slice it. And of course the challenge with that is that when you're shortening a jacket like this, and jackets are expensive, um, you find, and you find that the, the buttonhole's been cut, um, it's almost impossible to alter it. You need to come up with different alternatives. And I have created uh, an ebook and videos on that exact topic. Um, if you wanted to view all my videos, you can see those in Magic Circle. Um, it's a monthly, quarterly or yearly subscription. Or you could just go and um, purchase the individual video on how to cover um, cut buttonholes on a jacket because it really can't be shortened. I mean, you could actually shorten from the shoulder and I have an ebook for that as well. I hope this has been of help to you. Happy altering!